Hello everyone, welcome back to Twisted Rides Gaming YouTube channel, and on today's episode, we're going to be working on the Burnout El Camino. Here, check this thing out. Um, gotta jump over the hole here. So yeah, check this bad boy out. Um, the reason why the engine's in the car already, um, and I don't know if you guys seen my last episode, which was a bit long-winded, but something I needed to get off my chest. Um... And for a while I wasn't using mods at all. Well, I've re-adopted them again, and this is from another, a different modder, if you will. Um, now, if you guys are wanting some of these, um, I'll only post the ones that are made public, so you can find them on like Nexus Mods or something like that. But check out the sound of this engine here. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to take all this back apart. It has like a top fuel dragster kind of sound. So, sounds kind of cool, different. Now, the reason why the car sounds sound so goofy in this game is because they're made from uh, uh, basically Unity assets, so, which Unity is the engine that this game runs off of. Um, so that's why the V8 engine sounds are so limited and why they sound kind of goofy. It's all we got to work with. So I guess let's start with taking out the things I put in. Um, let's see here. Headliner, let's get that out of there. Everything else back here does not matter. What is that? What's well, a taillight for a furred? That's the inner fender well. Man, I'm gonna have to paint this thing. Okay, we're not gonna worry about any of that for right now. Now let's see here. Oh, wrench. Perfect. Oh, not oil. Wrench. <clears throat> so I think I'm just gonna leave the engine in the car. It should stay there just fine. Um Yeah, I got workarounds for all that. Let's see here, the battery cable. That should be able to stay. I don't know if that needs to come out or not. Break my own rule, pulling the red before the ground. Okay, let's chuck this under the front bumper here. I guess I'll just go ahead and remove the battery cable. It'll kind of make things simpler uh, in the long run here. If I can get to the cable. There we go. How is everyone doing? Did everyone have a good summer? Did you guys go on a vacation, do anything cool, and then work on a cool car project, stuff like that? Um, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Um, I spent the entire month of July sick. Um, my dad's basement flooded, so then there's that. So, yeah, I can't say I've I've done much this summer. <clears throat> and I still got plenty more to do. Hopefully I'll be catching up with Rooster at some point today. Go do something fun or cool. Hopefully picking up parts for another project. Okay, that's off. All of this needs to come off, even the oh, I gotta take all the stuff off the firewall. Gotta take the seat back out. <laughs> so we have a go button, a stop button, and a pause button. I don't know why, I just I thought that was funny. <laughs> it totally doesn't match an aesthetic of anything other than it just looks goofy. But totally appropriate for a race car. Get the steering column out of here. Sorry, my voice seems a bit crackly. Um, had a beautiful bonfire last night. Had a few friends over. Had a really decent time. And I don't know why I woke. I I rarely ever sleep in, like ever. And I slept till like ten <laughs> this morning, <laughs> which is really unusual for me. But it's been a busy weekend. Went to a concert Thursday. Went on a road trip Friday. See the small town with the biggest things in it, like a rocking chair that's like three stories high that was cool um what else was in oh the world's largest mailbox seen that that was pretty cool and i took the the good old faithful chevy caprice uh and i did record the whole thing so if you guys want to check out my real life channel it'll pop up on there eventually <laughs> um i have to refilm the uh, whole intro because well i didn't really film a good one and what i did film uh i didn't like and I shaved since I filmed it and for continuity sake I just I, it's not like I want to lie about it but I I just wanted it to seem like it flows you know properly so I have to wait a week to do that <clears throat> you know what no big deal speaking of which this car here um, this is go around number two of filming this because um, after the last video I immediately started filming this one and something farted went wrong I don't know what happened but uh, it decided, no, 
it's not saving this and it corrupted the file before I was even done it just it gave me a, a tone and it said nope I'm done I ain't doing it no more and it just went kaput on me which I have all of this footage but not any of this footage which less than ideal so you know what here we are again maybe I can do this a little bit quicker and you know what I have a little bit more subject matter to talk about and I'm not in like a funk like I was after the last video so hopefully uh, my energy levels will be a little bit higher which uh, I've been told I'm not really an excitable person <laughs> which doesn't break my heart too much I, I know that I'm not like super duper exciting or anything <clears throat> um, okay I'm gonna need this and I I can't sure shouldn't lose any tools I have toolboxes everywhere full of tools so this shouldn't be an issue am I attached to the transmission here I am okay question is can I remove the cross member with the engine in the car just to make things a hair bit easier Bolt. oh I never tightened it okay next come on okay will the cross member come out oh my god it did all right cool guys check out this blue anodized color I'll show you guys a little bit of that here in a minute. That's part of a uh, customizing thing I have downstairs. As a matter of fact, here, let me show you with the grinder here what that is. And I'm not trying to get too far off topic, but this thing is just really cool down here. So this looks like a like a Makita or something. And let's see here, if I go here, uh, we have all sorts of materials here to pick from. So let's see, was it this one? We can highlight whichever one. Nope, that's the nut. What's this one? Don't know, didn't do anything. Highlight material didn't do anything material eight that's the switch I like this one there's the body okay so enable color change Let's do kind of like a maroon color apply and bam now I have a nice cordless Milwaukee grinder all right <clears throat> so now I can start cutting all this stuff off of here now I have a quality tool um, let's see the firewall's got to come out too Ooh, now last time I did this, I actually had a big problem. These guys here wouldn't come out for whatever reason. Let's see if see if they come out this time. I'm starting with these first only because they gave me a fit. And the uh, uh, the torsion beam down here didn't want to come out either. Is that not going to come out? You know, if I get to the point where those need to come out, I'm going to stop and save. So therefore, I don't lose all of my footage all over again. <clears throat> is that a little dark? That is a little dark. Um, here, let me. I can do this. There we go. Gooder. <sighs> that piece didn't pop out. Come on. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to fight this all over again. Can you just come out for me, please? There's nothing else for me to cut here. I don't know why these aren't liking the idea of coming out. Unless it's a triple weld. Was there a weld? I didn't say. <gasps> hey! Oh my god, it popped out! Okay. Yay. Alright, that's one less thing I have to worry about now. Perfect. And you guys are going to love the interior color for this thing. It's uh, going to be a mix of the blue and the green. But everything that does that's not exterior or painted is getting this pretty white color. I got the idea from a buddy of mine. He's uh, building a Fox Body burnout car. Um, I don't know if he'll enter it professionally, but he just builds stuff to build stuff. Um, but he's also building a scale model of it on my bench downstairs, which kind of prompted the whole idea and, well, he just decided to go and do it for real. So he said on the real life version, he's doing all white on the inside, you know, it just keeps a cleaner looking interior rather than just, you know, all rattle cam black, which makes sense. Okay. Oh, wow. Damn, that thing was off before I even got out of the way. Um, so I'm going to take all the junk here, put it in the back of the truck so I'm not tripping over it. Um, I don't know what I did. Oh, that's what it was. I wrecked this thing, something terrible. Uh, I think I went out to the upholstery shop. And I grabbed all sorts of upholstery pieces for all sorts of different projects. Sorry, I got the morning hiccups. Um, and I don't remember what spot it was that got me. And I think it was the same spot where always where you're like going up that hill, up that hill, and then you kind of ramp and hit the hill on the other side because it's a T intersection. I think that spot got me again that spot always gets me um, now I do have the unlimited weld and cut 
active here, um, which if you guys want that one, it's on Nexus Mods, go look for it. Um, so basically with the welder, I have unlimited welding sticks, I have unlimited cutting discs, which you technically only need one. However, on occasion, whenever you like maybe leave the game and come back, um, the disc will be gone. So if that's the biggest expense I have for, for cutting wheels, I'm not going to complain. So, all right, the firewall should plop out now. Perfect. Um, I think part of the issue was whenever I did this the first time, I was in the game for way too long uh, doing the other recording, which is funny. I didn't even show that much of the game. It was mostly me just, you know, bitching. But uh, <clears throat> whenever I finally got to, that's, uh, that's a look. Oh, wait, can I bolt just the subframe to that? I think that'd be... No, we're not doing that. Um, let's see, I need the inner fenders. There they are. I guess I could put the firewall on, but... Yes, put the firewall on. Where did... Ah, there's the firewall. Okay. That's more like it. Should I just reassemble the whole front end? And just tack it together? Oh, I should do that. Just like tack it and then go through and hammer all my welds later. Just come on. I know this bolt's on here. I did it once already. Oh, wait. Wait. Don't. <laughs> I guess I need to attack the firewall in first. Okay. Boink. There's that. Here's. Hey, it's still got the welding stick on it. Usually these things disappear like crazy. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that. Um, by the way, the first time I did this, I was already in damn near an hour and did not have the car done at all. So this might be a two-parter, just for the sake of my san, just for the sake of my sanity, and for the sake of editing. Um, you know, maybe I should just kind of tiptoe back into this because it's just it's been so long. And I know some people really enjoy longer videos, and some people, like me, honestly, uh, and I feel you know, terrible about this, but Funkle88 has been putting on an amazing show on his channel, and I just haven't had time to watch. His shows are anywhere from, like, 45 minutes to an hour, almost. Well, at least the ones that I've noticed, and I just, I don't have the time, you know, to to stop and watch. And I, and, and that bothers me a lot, buddy. It, it, it really does. Um, <clears throat> what sucks is I was sick for a month, and it just right over my head. I didn't even think of it. Um, so I don't know, maybe sh shorter shows, maybe some of you guys would enjoy that, just to, just so you can actually kind of kick back and enjoy it, you know, because I can't do every day, I can't do, uh, um, I mean, I can do an hour-long show, I can build a whole car in one go, but, um, is it really worth, uh, my time, because time, I think, is like the biggest thing that hurts with this, is, is having the time to do it. Okay, that was weird. I could have swore it was in my hand. St stop it. There we go. Alright, now the front clip can go on. Go on. There we go. <clears throat> what really sucks is putting a white front clip on that uses white weld marks. I should have made it like fluorescent orange or something. So it looks like an actual weld. Now why won't you go on? Okay, there we go. Just any weld will do. There we go. So much for just tacking it all together. So Rooster and I are finally talking about getting a project undergo or underway for the real life channel, which I don't know. Like we were talking about around the campfire last night, and it's just it's just super excitable. Just the thought of doing this idea that we want to do. It's uh, it's really neat. <sighs> I just hope for like his sake we can actually follow through with it and do it because it's it's something I've never done before at least not on this scale of projects that is like I've you know I, I've done engine swaps I've put cams and motors and and crazy stuff like that but this is kind of a whole new realm uh, for me of you know and well actually I did it in I did it in, in Beeman G Drive as like a concept vehicle just to see if it could be done. And I actually did something that people said couldn't be done. So I don't... I don't know. Maybe I need to like finally show that thing off. 
to uh, I don't know there's just so many possibilities I miss doing this and I've missed doing this for you guys um, over the last year okay I think oh I didn't do the rockers because they're already on the car and I lost the electrode again that's fine um, I think it's time to start cutting some more stuff off let me put the cross member back in so the engine doesn't fall out <clears throat> Okay, tighten all this up. See how the white and the blue just kind of tie in together? God, it looks great. I love that. Um, what the hell? Now, wait a minute. I know I painted those cylinder. Oh, they're aluminum heads. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Starting to look like the Junkenstein in here. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's the uh, engine in my Camaro. Am I missing a head gasket? Bullshit, I am. Or is it in there somewhere? I cannot tell. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. This damn game sometimes. Okay, well, I might have to slightly disassemble the motor. As a matter of fact, let's just kind of take care of that now. Just so I don't... Just so I don't forget. Come on. Come on. Wake up. There we go. Okay. Um, so I need to put the cross member in. God's sakes, I know there's another bolt back here somewhere. Pff, wow, okay. <clears throat> it's just seeing me with my tools at work. I blind fire all the time. Just hope I catch a, the head of a bolt somewhere. Okay, so, is that... Wait, wait a minute. Well, there's a damn fuel line. I was looking for that. Whenever I did my test fire the other day. Okay, so the manifold can stay... I hate having to do this, but I gotta make sure that head gas gets in there. You know, for a split second, I was like, damn, I'm gonna lose all my coolant. No radiator. <sighs> it's too early in the morning for this stuff. Alright, let me get this thing busted down and see if I was actually missing anything or not. Loosen in the motor, but it's loose now. Oh, yeah, sure enough, that gasket is missing. I have no idea where it went. Is it over here with the engine stuff? Looks like I get to go buy another one. That's just rude. Okay, uh, engine. Okay, this was not like on the plan list for today. Like, I don't need all cars, need all engines, V8. Come on. I know I clicked on. <clears throat> yeah. Gasket. It's the one you can't see. <sighs> but we can't just stick a regular gasket in here. We need something a little special. I need a copperhead gasket. So we're going to take it down here to the materializer. We have a color change. Make it chrome. Maybe use an empty material. Lucky me, I actually wrote the color down. Somewhere. Well, I had it. Oh, yep, I wrote it down. If you guys want to know what it is, it's 994F00. And that's for copper. Oh, and I kind of matched the red interior color. It's 7F3838. So if you want to do that, so it's 994F00. It. So now I have a nice copper head gasket. Racing application stuff. Okay, so I have no idea where the original one went, but 
Bam. Okay, I'm going to put all this junk back together and just pick up where we left off, which was bodywork. Okay, where's my grinder? Oh my god, it's bright red. How did I lose that already? Oh, it's always on the other side of the car. Always. Okay, now I think we can get to cutting out the floorboards here. And the torque mount. And hopefully the game isn't deciding to be goofy. There's... Oh, damn it, the lift thing's on the other side. Well, I gotta reset the lift anyway. God, I have so much crap laying around here. It's not like I can tiptoe around it all. It'll just kick it. I believe that's in an okay spot. Um, you know what? That's just going to have to be okay with that. because Alright, that should be high enough off the ground. I should be able to shimmy under here. You know what? Let me try doing the torque mount first. And you know what? I'm going to take the transmission completely out. So that eliminates... That is an issue. I didn't put the battery cables back in. Because I don't remember if I had a transmission in here or not when I had the issue last time. Is transmission bolted to the engine? Uh, for those of you who remembered my three-wheel trouble uh, video, I made that whole trip with the transmission not bolted to the engine. <laughs> God, that was a long time ago. And that was a really fun, kind of nerve-wracking edge-of-my-seat video to make. Okay, the transmission. The only part I didn't do a custom um, color on to for this video. Um, let's see here. Bolt there. Bolt there. Bolt. Bolt. Out you go, which is actually perfectly fine. Now I get to cut. Cut everything out of here. Which there should be a cut here. I think there was a cut there. Cut out the floorboard while I'm down here. That's not the floorboard. Look, there's welds there that I missed. Okay, please fall out. Yay, it fell out. Okay. So now I can put the new one in. <clears throat> yeah, last time I filmed this, this stuff did not come out. So I'm almost kind of thankful that it screwed up so I could start over all over again. Because I was going to have to leave the game, come back, which is not fun to do. It takes like... I timed it. It takes seven minutes for the game to load in with all the mods that I have. Okay. I need this. And I need... Pick it up. Thank you. Okay, I can't weld that quite yet. I can weld this. I can weld that. Perfect. Now I can actually properly put the front suspension in here. Why? I didn't say you could come off. Get back on her. And I should be able to weld. I ain't gonna weld that right now. I'll just wait. Okay, that can go. All right. So now it's time for the floor pan. If I can find the grinder again. There it is. I'm. You know, I, how many things do you think I'm gonna kick down here before the end of the video? <clears throat> Sorry if I keep clearing my throat a lot. Oh, uh, from last night around the campfire. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy. 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 Okay, just about killed me, but hate it when the floor pan just starts jumping around like that, you know? Alright, take all this stuff down to what's his name's place, Steve, down there, I think it is. <clears throat> okay, do through the autocross course here. No, sorry, obstacle course. Okay. Um, so now we have a Flintstones car. I mean, you know, I literally just walked by the, the new floor pan. Okay, you know, in this puppy goes. Bam, look at that. Damn near chrome, but it's not. Need the welding stick. Now I get to weld all this cool stuff down here. 
See how just kind of nice and neat and clean this looks? I kind of see what he's talking about. It just it looks good, you know? Now, I really hope whenever I get going with my, uh, my sandblaster, it doesn't ruin all this. Which I don't think it... Excuse me. I, I don't think it will. I think we'll be okay there. Can't rub all that. This needs to stay unwelded because we're replacing all that. Well, that guy. Can I, I am stuck in the lift here. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Time to keep cutting. Alright, so now this back panel needs to come out. Watch that one be the one that gets like stuck in here. If I cut that, it should pop out of here. Or not. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. I need to go up in here and get the rear frame rails done. Man, I can't believe it. I'm only like... I'm only 30 minutes in, and I think I got a lot farther along in this this time around than I did last time. Um, oh, I forgot I put the gas tank in here already. Which, honestly, I don't think that needs to come out. I think it's in a good spot. Alright, so the frame rail needs to come out of here. Because they're all shot. And last time, this side did not want to come out. Which was less than ideal. Um, I, don't know if I think that needs to get cut. That needs to get cut. This guy needs to get cut. How about... Yeah, there we go. Alright, what else needs to come out of here for this to work? Am I missing some... Oh, right here. Duh. Uh oh. I just probably didn't cut something I wasn't supposed to cut. Oh, right here. Goofy me. That's not what I thought was going to come out of there. <laughs> okay. Hey, this one's dangling. Okay, cool. This one came out. Chuck it in the back of the truck. Um, these can go away. Did this side did not come out. But it's the same side as last time. How ironic. Let me... Where's my grinder? Maybe I missed something again. Is there something that bolts to it? Like... I don't... I'm not entirely sure what I'm missing here. I mean, is there something up here that I missed? I don't think there's anything like back here that I missed. Yep, there she is stuck. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that this episode. We're going to screw with that next episode. Um, in the meantime, I can actually start re... I'm going to stick back in there whatever I can. Um, hmm. Contemplating whether I should make the bed floor match the rest of the white, but I might just leave that be. Uh, you know what? This back panel didn't come out either. That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Maybe it's stuck too, I don't know. Because I keep winding up with stuck parts and I don't know why. That's for the inner bed side. Maybe... I don't know. I don't remember this being this open in here, but again, I can't really say I've messed around with the... the Jesse too much. I've never actually done a full frame off on one of these before, believe it or not. Okay, enough farting around. I need to start going back together with some stuff. Um, the back panel, no bueno. I can do this side. Is this even the right panel? No, that's the right side. Here, you can just go right there for now. Okay, um, I do kind of want to get the... You know, I might do what I did last time and just get the suspension kind of put together and ready to go. And then I might call it quits there. Oh, there it is. Man, I've been doing fairly good with the wrenches this episode. Usually I'm really... I need, actually need the welder, not the wrench. If I just do this... There we go. If you always lose the electrode, just walk away with it. It'll magically respawn somewhere. Um, let's see here. Weld you back in place. So if we look over here, there's a weld mark there. Uh, weld mark there, there, and there. Which I So I have everything cut. It just does not want to come off. Don't know why. Same thing with the uh, the back panel up there, which is funny. I don't even see weld marks on it. That's bizarre. 
Maybe I'm missing something on top. Alright, well that, well this. The cool thing is, uh, I don't need to even put gas in this because I already started it and ran it. So that's some good news. <clears throat> need the middle frame brace. I need the rear brace, the middle frame brace. And I shouldn't, by rights, I need to not cut or not weld the right side so I can take it back out. Bingo. There it is. There we go. Again with the wrench, I need to weld this stuff in. It's not the B200. Um, let's see here, weld this back in. Get back here. All right. Come on, where's... I know you go there, I put you there once. Okay, what's going on here? Wait, wait, wait. Bingo, there we go. <clears throat> this game's trying to upset me. All right, I think that's all we can do there. Um, you know what? I think this is a good stopping point, if any. Um, whenever we get back, we're going to finish up the weld work on the bottom of this thing, because we're in about 33 minutes. I think that's fair enough for a nice little light comeback. Um, we have basically the front clip to put on it, front bumper, header panel, uh, interior stuff, uh, all the suspension, and then drive it, do some nice little burnouts. Uh, it might be a little bit longer of a video. I don't feel like doing a three-part video. So, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.